Okay, so we're going to get started with uh, array lists by just doing some examples and kind of seeing how they're used. Um, what you want to remember is that an array list is a class that creates objects, and those objects manage an array. Okay, there's an array inside of them, but because it's hidden and inside, you use the array list, the array list methods to manage the array automatically for you. So you create an array list the exact same way that you would create any other object in all of Java. You give the variable a name, I should say, this is the type of variable, you give it a name and then you say new and array list. The one thing that is special for array list that isn't going to pertain to anything else we do all year long though is that you, you can specify what kind of data these things hold. So for example, I'm going to make this, this list only hold strings it's very useful to specify that when I declare that and we say that this is going to be an array list of strings Oops, string and you use these angle brackets okay to specify what kind of data will be held in this array list now if you do this it means that it can only hold strings and there will be a compiler error if you ever try to hold some other kind of data in the array list but that's all you do to create an array list. Again, it's just an object, it's just a class, it's no different from any other uh, class that we've studied. Now, if you remember with arrays and you, want, and you wanted to load information into an array or take information out, everything was managed through the square brackets and everything was done manually. You had to say exactly what index you were going into. You always had to make sure you were in bounds. Array lists are not quite like that they feel like they have an infinite length. You can add new elements into an array list over and over and over again. You don't have to worry about going past the index. It seems to resize itself automatically as you go. So I can say my list and then the method is add apple. So you see I'm just adding a bunch of stuff into the list. Now you'll see that when you add things they are automatically put into the lowest available index. So apple is going to be added into the zero index but then it's in there so banana gets added into the one index and cat is added into the two index dog will be added into the three index I can add other things into a specific index if you say add you put the index first we will stick zebra inappropriately into the two index so what that's going to do is notice this is in the zero index the one index cat was in the two index but zebra will slide in there and everything else will automatically slide down one. Let's take a look. It's also good to notice that the array list class has a two string method. So I can just throw my list into a system.outprintline command and it will automatically print everything out in the list, which is nice. With an array, you had to actually manually go through in a loop and print out each element independently. Now, the compiler is barking at me saying, hey, I don't recognize this thing array list. Inconveniently, array lists are not part of the default Java uh, language when you get started. So you actually have to manually import the array list class anytime in any class that you're going to use it. And the import command comes before the class, and you say import java.util.arraylist. This is like checking a book out of the library, right? Java does know what an array list is. It did write the array list class. It exists but it's still on the shelves of the library. So you have to go kind of tell Java to go take it off the shelf and put it in its active language area. Now if I click array, you see that it uh, compiles, see that it works. Now if I close this and run this method, you'll see apple, banana, zebra, cat, dog. All right, and again, this is the two string method. You see how it created these little square brackets for us automatically? That's nice. Arrays don't do this for us, if you remember.